Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 25th of July, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates the feast of St. James the Apostle or St. James the Greater the Apostle. Dear brothers and sisters, we very well know the Gospel speaks about the twelve Apostles. One of them was James the elder brother of John. James and John were the sons of Salome, who according to some tradition was the sister of Mother Mary. So accordingly, James and John were the first cousins of Jesus. They lived with their father Zebedee and they were fishermen along with Peter and Andrew. So they were partners in fishing. And we know how when Christ called them to follow him, they left everything that they had and followed him. It was with this faith we see the mother of James and John asking Jesus, for a place at right and left of his, for her sons. All the three, Peter, James and John, enjoyed great privileges because at important events such as the transfiguration, the agony of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, the time when he raised that little girl calling her Talita Kumi, only these three were present. And church would call them as faith, hope and charity. Peter for faith, James for hope and John for charity. James the Greater was called so because there were two James. And this James was greater to the other so therefore, that word James the Greater is denoted for his name. He was the first to be martyred among the disciples of Christ around 43 AD. He was beheaded by Herod Agrippa, the grandson of the Herod the Great, who massacred the holy innocents in Bethlehem. So dear brothers and sisters, what does the life of Saint James teach us? Saint James teaches us about passion for Christ, as all the saints did. Because when he was to be beheaded, the person who convicted him, the person who caught him and brought him to Herod, it is said that he also died with Saint James. Because the passion, the love for Christ that St. James had captured the heart and mind of that person. How is my witness capturing the hearts and minds of people? What is my presence doing to them is the question. Brethren, so let's listen to God today who is speaking us through the witness of St. James. That he wants us for himself totally and completely. He wants us to be His witnesses. It is also said, according to a tradition, that Saint James went to Spain and there a huge, huge uh, cathedral or basilica, as you call a minor basilica, is there in His name. And they say that the remains of Saint James is there. And therefore, Saint James is seen as the patron of Spain, of Chile, uh, he is also patron of the druggists. He should also be a patron of you and me in witnessing Christ. Amen.